Welcome to Wanna Speak by Veronique. Today we are talking about future in English. First of all, let me ask you a question. What is the difference between these two sentences? I will have lunch or I'm going to have lunch. In this video you are about to find out the answer, how they differ, if they are really similar or on the contrary. So we'll be talking about future simple which is will and construction going to. These are absolute must know when it comes to expressing yourself in the future. These are kind of basic structures, but next week we are going to put our focus on something more complicated. So make sure that you get the proper information from this video and you are prepared for the next week. Now, let's get started. Let's start with future simple or simple future. Whatever you call it, please keep in mind that will is usually about spontaneity. So, spontaneity is going to be a key word for the first part of the video. I will have lunch, as I mentioned before, is a spontaneous action. I take the decision now, in the moment of speaking. I'm hungry, I'll have some lunch. This structure is really important in restaurants. For example, you want to order some food. You say, I'll have chicken salad. I'll have something, coffee, right? So, I'll have. Keep in mind that, because once you travel, you're gonna use it. But the most significant thing here is that you open the menu and you've decided in the moment of speaking. You've decided actually now. I promise I'll clean the kitchen today. So use will to make promises. Imagine that someone is shouting at you. You were supposed to clean the kitchen two days ago. It's still so dirty. You can say, oh, I promise I clean the kitchen today. Right? So you make a promise in the moment of speaking. So again, it's rather spontaneous. I swear I'll keep your secret. I won't tell anyone. I promise. I'll help you. So use will to offer some help, for example. You see that someone is struggling with something now. So you decide, okay, I'll help you. Or I'll prepare a sandwich for you. Someone tells you, oh my god, I forgot my breakfast. You say, no worries, I'll share with you. Yes, again, spontaneous. You see that something is happening, I'll do it for you. I think you'll find a better place to live. So use will to make predictions. But these predictions are based on no evidence. I cannot guarantee you that you'll find a better place to live. Because in reality, I don't know. I'm not sure about that. I just predict, I think. So you can use these phrases to help you introduce this prediction. I think you will find better place. I hope it won't rain. I'm sure she'll be successful one day. In reality, I'm not sure, but that's why I use will after I'm sure. Because it's like a prediction, it's my personal judgment. I'm afraid it won't happen. I want that it happens, but in reality, who knows? Next usage. Will you come to my party? Will you come to my party? So it's an invitation. I invite you to my party. Yes, using will. So if you want to invite someone to prom, to the wedding or something, use will. Will you? Now we get a little bit romantic. Will you marry me? So use will for proposals. If you lie to me again, I'll tell your parents. You can also use will for threats. Typical scene from action movie. Put the gun down or I'll call the police. I won't do it. No way. So use will or will not for refusals. I refuse to do it. The same here. He won't listen to me. In reality, I'm not sure. I'm making kind of prediction. So as you can see, everything is connected like predictions, refusals, threats. Yes, it's all about this spontaneity, as I mentioned before. Will plus basic form of the verb. So, I will do something. Nothing complicated, right? She will drink something. We will go somewhere. When you want to negate, you use will not. But in spoken language, we are going to contract it in reality. So, it's gonna be want. He won't drink the alcohol on that party. She won't listen to you. When you want to ask a question, you switch person and will. So, instead of saying you will do something, you're gonna ask, will you do something? Up to now, it was all about spontaneity. But on the other hand, we have something that is planned, already considered. I've already made some decisions. So, going to. I'm going to visit Thailand next year. 
So it's my plan, right? Use going to to talk about plans. I'm going to go out tonight. I'm going to visit my parents next summer. I'm going to talk to my manager about making changes in a team. So I'm using going to to express my intention. I'm going to talk to him because I have some plan in my head. I have some intention for that conversation. We are going to paint the apartment tomorrow. So we already have an agreement. It's our plan. Tomorrow we are going to paint the apartment. The sky is so black. It's going to rain. So now I'm making predictions again. However, this prediction is made on the evidence because I see the black sky. But before I was saying, I think you will find a better place to live. It was with no evidence. It's like, I think you will find. That's why I used will before because it was spontaneous. Now it's not spontaneous because I can see the sky. So it's going to rain, no other way. I can't see any stars on the sky. It's not going to be sunny tomorrow. Now something really important for daily English spoken language. You don't say I'm going to go. It's too long. Languages tend to get easy. So we say I'm gonna. She's gonna. He's gonna. We're gonna. Okay? Gonna instead of going to. Be going to. So as we can see here we have three elements. Be you have to conjugate. I am, you are, he, she, it is, we are, you are, they are. Now keep in mind that going to is just a grammatical verb. It's an auxiliary verb, so you don't translate it. I mean, you shouldn't translate it in general, but if you do sometimes, do not translate going to. It's just grammar, okay? Then we have basic form of the verb. So it's like infinitive. When we want to negate, we are going to add not to the verb to be. I am not going to do something. She is not, so she isn't going to do something. We are not, we aren't going to do something. Once you want to ask a question, again, as in typical English question, you do the inversion. So the verb to be is going to be at the beginning. Instead of saying, you are going to do something, I'm asking, are you going to do something? Is she going to do something? Are we going to do something? After all of this, let's go back to the first question from this video. Do you have some conclusions? What is the difference between I'll have some lunch and I'm going to have some lunch? Let me know in the comment section. But if you are still confused, if you don't know which one you should use in which situation, always ask yourself a question. Is it spontaneous or is it planned? This one, this question is going to help you solve all of your problems when it comes to will and going to. So this is the trick that I really do recommend you to use. However, keep in mind that in fast spoken language, native speakers can use them interchangeably. In reality, they don't care about these rules, neither do I. Sometimes when you speak fast, when you are with your friends, you don't really care about the grammar. So just take it easy and it's going to be perfect. I'm gonna tell you a secret, but promise me that you won't tell anyone. Sometimes when I'm hungry, I say, I'm gonna have something, instead of saying, I will have something, which would be more correct. However, it's not a big deal. As I mentioned before, I'm gonna, it's like in spoken language, it's easy to say. So for the conclusion, it's okay to be confused and it's okay to use them sometimes, like interchangeably. However, you know the grammar, you know how to use them correctly, so keep practicing and visit my Instagram, TikTok, Wanna Speak by Veronique, where I share short videos daily. Thank you for watching this video, but before you go, check this out. Would you like to take your English to the next level by having one-to-one -one meetings with me? I've created something especially for you. My eight weeks program is going to change your life. You are going to sound natural, learn English in funny, creative way, using examples taken from real life. What's more, you are going to forget about memorizing boring grammar rules. So, if you wish to start exploring the world with the practical knowledge of English, the link is in the description down below. Lots of love and hope to see you soon!